How not to get frustrated in problem solving. Your ability to solve a problem is very much related to the control you have over that problem. You might get very frustrated if you try to solve problems that you have no control over. Your control over situation can be divided into three categories. The first level is one where you have total control over the situation yourself. Like, I need to study for my exam tomorrow. It's in your hand whether you do it or not. We call that scope of control. The second level where you have some control over the situation, but the outcome is unsure or you need help from others to reach your goal, is called scope of influence. Examples are, I need to pass that exam tomorrow, or I need to borrow money from my neighbor to buy that bike. You are concerned with the problem, but you're not the only one that contributes to a solution. The third level of control is actually a level of no control. The problem concerns you, but you have no influence on the situation, like this lockdown. It frustrates you, but you can't do much about it, can you? We call the situation scope of concern. Frustration increases when your control over the situation decreases. To decrease your frustration, it's important to increase your control over the situation. There are some strategies you can follow to increase your control. First, concern yourself with the problems that are within your scope of control. Problems that you can solve easily by yourself. Secondly, you can manage your scope of control. You need to choose your goals smartly. If your goal is to finish a group assignment by the end of the day, you might get frustrated if you need to wait for other group members to hand in their contribution to the assignment. When they don't, you will try to do everything yourself, and you will certainly not finish. It's better to set your goal to working hard for 6 hours on the group project. Working hard is within your control, and when you do that, you have a feeling of satisfaction at the end of the day. By setting your goal smartly, you have more control over the situation and you will be less frustrated. If you have influence over a situation in which you have no total control, how can you maximize your scope of influence and therefore have more control over the situation? Think about that for a moment. Let's take the example when you need to finalize a group assignment for tomorrow. You're going to do your work, but are your group members going to do their work? When you're really concerned that this group assignment should be handed in on time, chances are that your fellow group members might be less concerned than you are. So, how will you make sure they submit their contributions on time? The trick is to get the people to listen to you. You use leadership for that. When people like you, they are more likely to do what you want. If you have built up goodwill by working hard, they might be more inclined to do what you say as well. Sometimes you can use intimidation to reach the same effect, but the people will definitely not like you and they might even try to sabotage your work in the future. Some situations concern you, but you have no control over them. An example is the present COVID situation. The lockdown can be very frustrating, it's definitely influencing your life, but you can't do much about it. You only have two options to deal with those situations. You either walk away or you learn to live with the situation. If these situations make you cynical or angry, they will reduce your ability to lead and therefore reduce your ability to solve problems. So, my advice, the same as a wise Disney character once said, just let it go.